79,000 units of rent stabilized apartment in the 31st Senatorial District that I represent. With Senator Perkins, who has close to 70, you know, we have a good chunk of the 1 million, close to, you know, 10%, so that we're fighting for, for, for our lives. We're fighting for our, our roof over our heads. Now we're going to hear from Del Senior Glover from the Lennox Harris Association of Concerned Tenants. Welcome, uh, actually, Del Senior. Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, I'm here uh, representing Mississippi, and I both represent the Gang of Six. And before I start, I just wanted to um, respectfully beg to differ with your leader, uh, the Senate Democratic leader, who said that nothing happens unless we are here. We're here today. We've been here before. You guys are here every day. You work here, and we want you to take up this charge. Thank you. Who wants to do it for us? And I also want to tell Senator Adams before he left that we did, we do get up off our asses. All right, now. <laughs> uh, uh, the M6 is pleased and thrilled to be here today to speak on behalf of rent stabilized tenants in Harlem and across the city. And I wish every person here in this room could speak because every single person has a story. I'm sure you can see when you look out into the gallery that it is filled with senior citizens and those of us who, like me, are very close to being senior citizens. And they, we should not, excuse me, have to spend this portion of our lives after being productive citizens in New York City and this state for many decades living in fear of losing our homes. Those who would do this is shameless and should lose their jobs no matter what side of the aisle they're on in the next election. The Gang of Six is a group of us from three of the largest rent stabilized apartment complexes in Harlem where we have been living and enjoying our residencies for many, many years. All of a sudden, the real estate greed has taken over our community, and we are living in fear of not being able to pay our rent. So we would like to applaud uh, Senator Escalot for offering this legislation and give our full support. Thank you, Senator, for allowing us to speak here today. Thank you so much. You are on the for testimony. Now we're going to hear from, oh, I'm sorry. Cynthia. That's fine. Um, and I just want to say, I actually didn't know I was going to, going to, uh, to speak today, so I didn't get to, to uh, write anything down as eloquently as, as my uh, partner, the senior brother. But I just want to say, you know, I, I've been a resident of Harlem for, I would say, over uh, 20 years. And I remember my first apartment, I paid 200 and, I think it was 276 dollars. And that was actually 1970, um, And, you know, and then now, um, you know, living in Riverton, I've been here for, I would say, about 14 years. And when I moved in there, my rent was fine and changed. Now, throughout the years, I mean, just seeing how things have, have increased, um, I mean, it's actually getting to the point where it's actually becoming unaffordable. Um, uh, I know when uh, the property was actually sold to uh, Larry Gluck, and I think everybody knows who Larry Gluck is. Let's get out of here. displaced 53 percent of the rent stabilized tenants in the river tent. And um, as, a, as a result of, uh, I guess, him not getting that percentage, you know, he would actually win his foreclosure, everybody knows the story. Yeah. But, um, you know, I just want to say that I think it's really a shame that we have to, it's like we have to beg for the right to, uh, uh, to live in affordable housing. I think it's really sad. I think it's a shame that this is where we've come to. 
And I believe many of you up here have said too that that is a right. You know, it is a human right. It's a right. And that right is being violated. And we are looking for you to, to, to take the lead, to take the charge in that, and to assist us, you know, in being able to uh, uh, maintain that right to live in affordable housing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sylvia. I'm going to see you.